In this episode, we answer a bunch of your guys' questions from the mailbag and share some major exciting news for you, the viewers here at the channel. Well, hey folks, welcome to this episode of Gideon's Tactical. I am your host, Aaron, and we're gonna jump right in for the start with some mailbag questions. The mailbag is something we started recently that I pick out questions from you guys, the viewers, and answer them live here on the channel. Sometimes I throw them into videos, and sometimes we're just gonna do videos just like this, where it's just mostly about the mailbag. So if you wanna get um, your question possibly answered live in the comments below in this video or any other, just put hashtag mailbag, and then ask your question, and if it pops out to me, and it's something that's maybe a little unique, a little bit different, different, you may have your answer, uh, your question answered in an upcoming video. So uh, this first one we're going to read off comes from Landon, and he's actually uh, hit me a couple times with this. Hey, Aaron, what are your opinions on the idea of having too much gear? Can it spoil the pure and freeing act of just getting outside into nature? And so he goes on from there, selection of king, all that type of stuff. Great question. It's a pretty long question, so I'm just going to kind of break it down into that piece because that's the, the main idea there. Um, is it is there such a thing as too much gear? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's too much. You can have too much of anything. Um, for me, I feel like that all the time as a gear reviewer. I'm taking, I'm hauling five knives up, you know, to do a gear test. I'm taking three stoves. I'm taking, you know, two multi tools, and I'm trekking up to do a bunch of testing for the day. And it can get overwhelming. Um, there does come a point, in my opinion, where it's good to just say, you know what, I'm happy with this product. I, it does the job that I need, and I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm going to get out there and actually start using it. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to use it for myself. I'm going to see if it really fits the need that I need. You know, I'm thinking of like just a more heavy duty companion or more cans bowl or something like that boom grab that thing get out there start using it down the line if you want to drop two hundred dollars on some sort of high-end blade sweet rock on but there does come that point where it's just so overloading and gear i've always said this here at the channel gear is just the thing that gets us out there into the world into the outdoors to enjoy life to have fun it's not about the gear great you have a 700 hundred dollar tent that's ultra technical and the osprey's newest best 700 hundred dollar you know backpack and you know mystery ranch is you know uh newest this or whatever okay that's all great but that's not why you're out there to rock your cool stuff it's for you to get out there and actually experience creation and all the epicness that this world has to offer. So yes, there can be too much gear, absolutely. And there does come a point where you just need to go with what you got, get out there and get the experience. And that question alludes to our big news coming up here in just a few more minutes. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to take a quick break here. And I want to share with you our new affiliate, Knock Around Sunglasses. Just pick these Aviator ones up. Because let's be real, your sunglasses collection sucks or is too expensive. And you're terrified that you're either going to step on your $200 Oakleys and break them. Or that your kids are going to bend your Ray-Bans and they're going to snap in half. Or you are at the dollar store and you just need a pair of sunglasses and you threw them on and they're so dark that you can barely even see the road and you're about to drive and crash into a building. So there is another solution. In the links below is a link to Knock Around Sunglasses. Knock Around Sunglasses, I purchased them myself recently. I uh, got a couple pairs. I was super happy with them. So then I communicated and was able to land an affiliate with them. So now you guys can get inexpensive sunglasses because all their stuff comes at under $50 from aviators to old like 80s classic styles. They got female designs. They got children's designs. I got one on the way for my son. Really excited for that. Uh, and you don't have to break the bank, but you can get polarized. They're 400 V. This one, these aviators are almost like looking through just my natural eyes. Uh, but I'm not having any of the harsh rays coming in. They're just epic and well-built. They're kind of surprising how well-built they are. They have a custom store so you can build your own designs if you like. And they have sales all the time as well as limited run stuff. Some of their sales products you can get for like, I think I got my wife a pair for like $9 and she loves them. You know, they're super sick. So check out those links below. New affiliate. When you use those hyperlinks, we'll get a small kickback and helps me continue to make content just like this. All right, folks. Our next question comes from Old Gecko. Old Gecko, you've been following us for a while now. It's cool to see your comments. I always appreciate them on Instagram and on YouTube. And I like this question. Would you be interested in making your own knife, either full forging or by stock removal? What would you like to make? Great question. People have been asking me that since we really kind of came on the scene here six years ago, which is just bananas um, that we've been around for about that long. 
And, uh, uh, you know, I maybe one day I will, but there's so many great products out there, and I'm a gear tester, I'm a gear reviewer, um, that, you know, if I, I create a knife, then I'm going to be thinking in my mind, well, that's the perfect knife. I'm going to be trying my mind to, like, rate everything against it or something. And I just don't want to do that at this phase of my life. Maybe down the road we'll do something like it. You know, you might see a Gideon's Tactical Blade one day. Um, I don't know. But if I had a choice, I mean, it would have to be stock removal. I mean, I can, I, I love, you know, Peter Kohler. Uh, I, I love Josh Wolf. I mean, I know some people who can make epic custom knives for me. So if I wanted a one-off custom knife, I can absolutely do that and have exactly what I want and have that forged and made. Uh, you know, it would have to, there would definitely have to be some things changing in my life to want to make something that's like sold to the masses. Maybe one day that'll happen. I have no interest in doing that right now. All right, the next question comes from Mr. JT Tori72. And uh, he asks, love your videos, two thumbs up, learn a lot from you, brother. Thank you, bro. Uh, my question would be, would you recommend, what type of uh, gear would you recommend to start bushcrafting and overnight camping for a $500 budget? Thank you and God bless. That is a huge rabbit hole. I'll try and answer it here in less than a minute for you. Um, I'm going to assume you're probably car camping or you might be backpacking. Either way, this is what I'm going to give you suggestions for to try and keep it under that $500 limit. And I will have uh, links in the description below over to Amazon for this stuff. Um, Salida series tents, depending on how many people you need, or uh, Salida, so Salida series from Kelty, uh, or Bear Creek series from Mountain Smith. Both are pretty lightweight built well and are going to be between like 100 and 150 dollars for tents and they have one man through i think like four man sizes so those would be great options on the tent side uh backpack wise if you're going to be backpacking in and carrying your gear i'm going to say the mountain uh, smith apex series has been my jam for quite a while 600 denier cordura fabric adjustable collars really built well very comfortable they have um i believe they have like a 45 liter they have a 60 liter and they have an 80 liter and even a 100 liter again links below so they have lots of size options and again all around the 150 or less price point for those so then after the backpacks i would say get yourself an msr pocket rocket stove get yourself um a stanley little cook set and uh, again, links below. Um, so I don't have to elaborate <laughs> in detail. Uh, more cans bowl. I would say uh, either a Baco Laplander or uh, Ichi Samurai Ichiban saw and an S-Wing 14-inch um, hatchet. All those you can get for about $100, all those tool items I just listed. And if my math is right, that leads us to about $400 invested. Then spend $100 on like the best medical kit that you can build. Get yourself a good cat's tourniquet, the compression bandages, blood clotting material. Just get as much of that stuff as you can. And maybe some other little, you know, small items here and there that you can still have in that budget of $500. And I think you would be set to really get out there and really begin to enjoy the outdoors and really be prepared and basically all those tools are going to be fantastic and get done the job that you need without having to break break the bank so great question that'll lead us right into our next kind of little commercial break uh here and just reminding you guys that here at the channel we are funded by you guys and the hyperlinks that you guys offer um and, and uh the commercials that you guys see those are the ways that we make our income and the majority of it comes through you guys making purchases through the hyperlinks so if it's this stuff we're talking about today or any gear in general that if you use the hyperlinks that we offer to you below like to amazon it really helps me out we get that small kickback puts gas in the gas tank of the channel then i can start the engine make another video purchase another piece of gear take time off of work and family to go instead of having to go and you know get another part-time job to help make ends meet you guys help make ends meet here and it helps fuel the channel and give us income to purchase gear to do the content that we do here through the hyperlinks including the ones to amazon and that list i just shared will be in the links below so thank you guys for your awesome support Okay, here's our final question from the mailbag before we get into our major news here at the channel, something new that we're gonna be doing real soon. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. This one comes from Joshua Henderson, and I think this was actually our very first mailbag question. Uh, and he asked, as an outdoorsman with a history degree, I'm genuinely curious about who your favorite founding father is and how studying this period of history has influenced your life. Great question. 
Um, and I actually went back and did some research because in high school I did a, I read a biography or an autobiography um, about uh, Benjamin Franklin. And I remembered that, you know, because George Washington, uh, yes, absolutely, but kind of a cop out, like everyone's gonna say George Washington. So I was like, well, who, who are they? Who are the founding fathers again? Refreshing my memory and I came, and I'm gonna say Benjamin Franklin, it's easy, because that man was so influential and just a, a man beyond his time, and he was a man beyond himself. Um, as you do research, and I really encourage you, I mean, you can simply just like look up a simple kind of crash course biography on him uh, and, and what he was and who he was. Uh, this guy, from a very young age, was very influential. He wrote um, letters when he was too young to really be published. He put them under a pseudonym and uh, sent letters into a local newspaper that were asking very serious questions about the time that really challenged people's thought processes, not only just about life, but about the Brit British Empire and some of those type of things. Um, and then as time went on, he was the guy that discovered electricity, you know, beyond that's just like a lightning strike. So, I mean, that and how that all works, I mean, that's insane. He uh, was an inventor. He, you know, did, I think, believe bifocals, you know, so he came up with that um he uh, invent this is and this shows his heart as well he was an inventor and so he at one point I, I it was just a crash course it was just like a sh little blurb but i guess he invented some sort of um stove that was way better at like retaining heat and processing heat and you didn't have to use as much wood and so it was very um revolutionary for the time instead of him putting a patent on it so that he could become wealthy off of it he said you know what this can help millions of people here in the colonies and around the world i am not going to patent it and i can, I'm gonna let anybody who wants to build one build it and sell it and do whatever just to get this stove to as many people this wood burning stove as possible which is just shows his desire to take care of humanity and when he discovered something go you know what I want to give back to humanity and that's something that challenges me to be like I want to live like that and to answer that kind of that second part and then you know obviously all the the help and craft the constitution or excuse me the Declaration of Independence and uh, being influential in that way and just so many different things uh, Benjamin Franklin is the man and uh, really has an awesome story. I encourage you to do a little research on him. And to kind of answer that second part of the question of how does that influence my life, those people back then in particular were so selfless and particularly the founding fathers and around that 1700s into the early 1800s and founding a nation. And when you study that stuff and just how much they were willing to sacrifice, put on the line for freedom, it speaks to me of how it shapes my mind and my view of the world of how I want to be free. I want my children to be free. I don't want people telling me what to do and how to live my life. And I don't want to make decisions that are going to try and put my opinions on other people and force them to do it. Now we can have an awesome dialogue and discuss and you can tell me your opinions and try and convince me and I want to tell you my opinions and try and convince you. But at the end of the day, it, it's a free choice to decide how we live our lives instead of me forcing you, you must live this way, or you're forcing me to live this way. Um, and so that's something that they were like, we are fed up with this and we are not getting, a, we don't have a voice. And so we must create a new world that does give everyone a voice. And I, I love that. And just studying those guys and just the willingness to sacrifice so much for the, the millions of unborn yet to be. To be. Um, it, it was just epic and they saw beyond themselves. I think in this culture today, we're so focused on us, me, how do I feel? Well, this is my truth. This is my living. This is me, 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 me. And it's like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do something and sacrifice beyond myself. And I think we, as a nation, we, as humanity need to get back to that and quit being selfish and start being selfless. And though it's studying that time in history reminds me of that and pushes me and encourages me to live my life that way. So there you have it folks, real fast before I tell you this awesome news, I'm, I'm, I literally, this news that I'm about to tell you, I'm so excited about, it's one of the most exciting things that I think we've done here in a while. Uh, real quick, another little break here real quick. On top of the Amazon links, you know we offer Blade HQ links, that's another awesome way to help support the channel. It just keeps us going, doing what we're doing, uh, and it, I really appreciate it. So all the links to Knock Around, to Amazon, to Blade HQ, and if we land a few more affiliates in the near future, all of those are gonna be below, and anytime you guys use those, it just really helps to continue this and, and grow it. All right, folks, I've been talking it up this whole time. Now here it is. Drum roll, please. We are going to start a once a week episode called The Gideon's Tactical Show. And you may be asking yourself, well, dude, like, what is The Gideon's Tactical Show? Isn't that what I'm watching right now? 
these are gear reviews or like mailbag and you know that type of thing. I wanted to take this channel and we're gonna continue to do all the awesome content you see with the reviews and the testing and all that. That's not going away, that's gonna continue to keep humming doing what it's doing. But I wanted to add an entertainment factor, particularly for those of you who regularly watch because you just get entertainment value out of it, but you really, you know, you're set. You got the pocket knives you're gonna buy this month, you got the fixed blades, you know, you got the stuff you need, you got your hatchet, your backpack, your you know, whatever, and, and you're like, yeah, I watch because of entertainment, not really because I need to purchase anything else. So I wanted to hit those people that you're sitting there on a weekend and you're like pouring your cereal and you're watching Gideon's Tactical Backpack Review because you just, that's what you do in the morning. And I know there's a lot of you guys that do that and I appreciate that so much, but I want to take this now to the next level. So what the Gideon's Tactical Show is, is more like a discussion, fun, topical show that has nothing to do necessarily with gear reviews. So we're going to do things like history corner where we're going to take a moment in history or maybe a history character and just discuss that and what how, what happened give a little history lesson maybe talk a little bit about that character in history and what, how they maybe could affect our lives and we could mimic their lives in a good way or maybe in a in a negative way like I don't want to be like that person so we're going to have like a history corner sometimes we're going to have my wife come in and do a guest uh, and have a female perspective we're going to do interviews with people from all walks of life and all different types of, of life and issues and things from possibly like an electrician coming in and talking about electrical uh, electrical work and what that looks like maybe to help your kids they're trying to figure out what to do in life and maybe they're interested in a trade we're going to maybe do some stuff like that uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun with it we're going to do that's a that's just dumb seg segment where we talk about just dumb stuff that i see either in the world or particularly like in the gear world you know in survival world i'm like that's just dumb we're going to talk about that uh, it, it's, I think it's just going to be a blast. We're going to do a new segment where there's like new, like gear hitting that no one's tested out review, you know, before it's like, Hey, you know, Benchmate's coming out with a new Puko, you know, knife next month. I uh, just want to let you guys know, hopefully I'll get my hands on it soon. You know, just stuff like that. We're going to do a bunch of stuff, but to take it to the next level, kick it up a notch and bring an entertainment level so that you can have fun on top of getting the information through the gear review. So I hope you guys will enjoy this concept. I'm really pumped and really excited to launch it. It will be coming in the next few weeks, so stay tuned and you will tell you'll be able to tell because the description will be the Gideon's Tactical Show, and then it'll say hashtag the number of the show. So our very first episode will be Gideon's Tactical Show hashtag one. Then like on our third show it'll be Gideon's Tactical hashtag three. You know four, five, whatever. So you'll be able to follow along. You know, if you miss a few, you can hop back and watch, you know, in, in uh, chronological order, that type of thing. But we're going to do this once a week to start out. If it totally blows up, we might add it, uh, another one midweek. We're just going to see where this goes, but I'm really pumped about it. It's challenging me, pushing me a little bit to get a little bit uh, different perspectives on things, ha bring you guys, the viewership, a new level of just fun and entertainment and knowledge in a different way that I'm not seeing anyone else on YouTube in the outdoor arena really do on a regular basis. So stick around, stay tuned. You guys are going to see this coming soon. I'm going to blast it out on Instagram and Facebook when it comes live for that as well. So you guys can really stay up to speed with it and start checking out. I, I'm going to try to shoot for next weekend. Um, Labor Day weekend is when I'm shooting to get the first one out. If for some reason, because this is my part-time gig, it doesn't happen. It will be the week after. So within the next two weeks, you guys are going to see this and it's going to be a blast. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this concept of the Gideon's Tactical Show. And if there are sections and segments that you might want me to answer and do you know you're like oh dude i'd love to have a i don't know fire starting corner you know that we talk about how to fire starting technique that's not necessarily a review i mean i don't know i mean maybe we can do a car corner we talk about cars all the time i don't know i want to hear from you guys and maybe some of those will jump out to me and we'll integrate them into the channel because each week it will be a little bit different and have a little bit different flair to the the getting tactical show episode that we produce so guys thank you so much i i really hope you've enjoyed the mailbag today again hashtag mailbag uh, thank you for your guys viewership your support let me know your thoughts on the Guinea's Tactical Show. And finally, guys, just thank you for the... I, I'm a I'm a goofball in a garage right now uh, on a, in the middle of the day talking to a camera. And we have a, a family here that watches and, and is it's just amazing. And if you guys didn't watch, I wouldn't be out here doing this and we wouldn't be having fun like we are. And it's just a blast to uh, be family with you dudes and dudettes. So you rock, stay equipped, stay prepared. See you out there.